the mission on opportunity which the next Labour government will deliver. Keir Starmer. Keir Starmer in Medway to unveil the fifth and final mission of a future Labour government. I promise you this, whatever the obstacles to opportunity, wherever the barriers to hope, my Labour government will tear them down. Pledging to break the class ceiling, a political priority and a personal one too. I see this mission as our core purpose and my personal cause. To fight at every stage for every child the pernicious idea that background equals destiny. But in the background, accusations from activists... Stop making turns here. ..that he's going back on green investment plans. Wait, will you just let me finish this? ..handling the hecklers before getting back to his mission that a child's start in life won't determine where they end up. But clear, too, he won't back up promises with big increases in public funds. Will you commit to more investment for schools and education ahead of the next general election? We can't hide from the fact we're going to inherit uh, a really damaged economy after 13 years of failure. Can't hide the fact that we're going to inherit failed public services and we have to take hard decisions. Leaving a hard reality for pressed public services. The point I'm trying to make to you is that it has to be evolution, not revolution, because you simply don't have the resources to deliver it fast. Well, look, these Is that things... fair, though? I'm not pretending that we can snap our fingers uh, on this, and we're absolutely clear that this is our priority. We can make the changes. One of those changes to bring the standards of private and state schools closer together. By when? Well, as soon as we can. And that's why First I time out. of a Labour government takes two Labour governments, takes a generation. By when? Th this is intended to set out what I would hope to have achieved in five years of a Labour government, maybe a little bit more. A tentative promise for a Labour government's first term. But those in the sector, from schools to vocational colleges, all too aware of the pressures at play. I think we're all realists to understand that it's going to be difficult because there isn't money and we're in a long queue with lots of other people. But the fact that education is starting to come square and centre is really encouraging. The public will be the judge of that. The next phase of his plan for power, turning these missions into concrete pledges later this year. Beth Rigby, Sky News, Gillingham in Kent. <laughs>